We are back on another episode of Pack Attack today, episode 3, and man, you guys just continue to do it. 42 likes is what last episode is at right now, even more than the one before. So already that adds 42,000 stubs to today's stub count after the game. So make sure to keep it going, guys. If you want to add 100 stubs for each like towards next episode, hit that like button right now. It's already proving to be big for us. We all also have some upgrades today with your Don Alvarez being the big one our first diamond player on pack attack of the year we pulled him at the end of last episode he's our new DH he's our only new player on offense everybody else stays the same but on the pitching side of things we added 78 overall Tanner Houck and 77 overall Blake Snell to the rotation we also added Alex Cobb and then in the bullpen Taylor Rogers is brand new, another lefty, and then Colin McHugh, our second silver in the bullpen. Everybody else, though, that we pulled from the packs that didn't get added to the team, as usual, got sold on the market. And from that, we added 4,108 stubs to our stub bank. So after two episodes, our stub bank is sitting at 7,359. I know that doesn't seem like it's going to get us much, but trust me, give it a little bit more time and that's stub bank is really going to come into play here for this team. We have a record of 2-0 to start with a rating at 109 and we are ready to go. So guys, make sure if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss Pack Attack as it comes out for the rest of the year. I went with Tanner Houck to start this one. I'm hoping Sinker Slider with 96 Velo and 99 Break will be good. And look at this team we're facing. Oh man, I I didn't even realize it until it was almost gone, but they have nobody. Their team is almost as bad as mine in terms of overalls. I think I saw some bronzes in there. They've got a bronze starter. It's Edward Cabrera, though. And Jake McCarthy starting it off with a leadoff single up the middle. I kind of want to take off with him as soon as we can. All right, 1-1 one, one count. I'm taking off. Terrible jump. We got a swing, and that actually worked perfectly. Wow, that wasn't meant to be a hit and run, but Jake McCarthy got such a bad jump I had to swing. And it found the perfect spot. We got runners on the corners, nobody out. For Jordan. And Jordan on the very first pitch he sees of pack attack hits a no doubter. We couldn't have expected anything less. What a start to the game. Our team has some power. That's only our third total home run in our third game. But I feel like Jordan is going to like match that maybe by the end of this game. And then a perfect, perfect from Hoskins. So we're starting it right back up, still nobody out. And this is worrying, either we're frozen or this guy had enough. Oh, I got disconnected, oh no, that's cool. Well, it still says I'm 2-0 here, so did it not hand me a loss? Are we good? Oh, my rating got better. So wait, what happened? Man, I have no idea what this count says here. It seems glitched. It it still says I'm 2-0, and oh, but on the standing screen, it says we have three games played and my rating went up to 160. You know, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just let things sit for a little bit, let it simmer. Maybe it works itself out on the back end and either gives me a win or gives me a loss or disqualifies the game or something, I don't know. All right, well, I don't know what happened. We still have the same record of 2-0 and nothing changed after I've let it sit for a while it counted all the stats but it didn't count the win it even if you go into game history and summary it showed me getting rating and him not and it even says up at the top pack attack win in one inning but I also don't I don't know I don't know what happened so I think for the purposes of pack attack and counting stubs, I'm just going to count that one like the game is counting it. So I'm not going to count it as a win. I'm not going to count it as a win towards our win streak, but all the stats from those four at bats are going to count. And since I'm not counting it as a win or adding it to the streak, we're not going to do it like how I said in the rules where like, you know, if the next game goes long enough, then we only pick one. I'm just going to basically for the purposes of counting stats, just tack on 
those four at bats to whatever stats we get in this next game. I can't think of a better way to do it. I've literally never seen anything like this happen before, but here we are, only on pack attack. I was able to start Tanner Houck again. He didn't lose any energy because he didn't pitch. We got to face Giolito. All right, how about that? 89 Giolito. I saw a couple other 89s in that lineup, but also I saw a chipper. So I don't know why he doesn't have a full 99 team. We're back at home. He's 4-0. Oh, and I like that. Swinging at the slider in the dirt on the first pitch. Hopefully we can live below the zone or not. Okay. Oh, okay, it worked. That's about as bad as you can miss a spot and still get a strikeout. Wow, he doesn't know what he's swinging at here. Early on the slider, late, couldn't make up his mind on the sinker, and back to the slider for another strikeout. Uh, and he hit it back up the middle, and the shift is still on. I keep forgetting to turn that off permanently, but it helped us there. One, two, three to start. Ooh, and Jake McCarthy starting it off again with a base hit up the middle. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take off with him again. Let's do it. He got a better jump that time. It was a fastball, but it looks like we're in there. That's probably a pitch I'd want to swing at, but we'll take our runner on second with nobody out. And then strikeout. There we go. That's That's how it's done. Oh, and they put Jordan on. So not another chance to go deep again, but he's on base again. Oh, we're going to move up on that. Got through the five hole. There we go. Now a deep fly ball on a 3-1 count is all it's going to take. Or we'll take another walk and load the bases. With Seeger up, we've got the matchup. Come on, Corey. That's okay. That's a run. 99 speed. I'm going for it. I don't know who he has out there, but... We should be good. Yeah, we're in there. Man, how am I missing these? I'm too geared up for a fastball that's not coming. Well, and then of course there's the fastball and I'm ever so slightly late on it so I can't make a good swing. Definitely should have came out of that inning with more than one, but at least we have the lead. There we go, another strikeout on the slider that time. Oh, and there we go, Chipper doesn't have a, a shift. There we go, though, an instant double play. We nailed both throws. And Edmund, he's still 0 for against righties. There we go, Zanino. He left the slider there. Actually, he's been trying to throw that pitch all game, and he usually doesn't hit the zone. Uh, it doesn't look like that one. Or maybe... No, it is getting down. It's getting way down. 25 speed isn't going to be enough to bring him around, but we'll take runners on second and third again with one out. And Jake McCarthy, did he do it again? He did. It got down. We're going to bring them both around to score. He might even get a triple out of this. I'm going for it. Oh my god, that was a... Oh no, it wasn't. <laughs> I thought that was a good throw. Another triple for Jake McCarthy. I think that's two for him already. Ah, uh, that's going to score another run, but that one's not getting down. Oh, it is. It actually is. Oh, uh, he looked like he was playing in because that was not hit that deep, and he was going back on it. Oh, and Jordan rolled over on it. Honestly, if he only threw that circle change, he might be doing a little bit better because that's a tough pitch to see. See, even against righties, that's a hanger. I don't think that's going to have enough to do anything. Although, who knows at this point, anything can get down. There we go, up and away on the heat. Got him chasing. That's four for Hauk. See, I, I'm learning I can't throw the same pitch twice. He looked really dumb on that slider two pitches ago, and then he spit on a really good one-two slider. There we go. The splitter in the dirt strikes out the side in the third. Hauk is looking really good, actually. I don't think I made a good enough swing on that. See what I mean? I just, I can't have the right swing on that, that circle change. That might be the best swing I've made on it yet, and it didn't go anywhere. And Hayes, that's another circle change. That might take the new spot for best swing on a circle change, and it's another out. And there's another one. See, I said it last time, last inning, and he did it and it worked. He gets his first one, two, three inning on like nothing but circle changes. Man, I, I keep missing right over the middle of the plate to Jimenez and he keeps striking out on it. 
There we go, another one on the splitter. Four scoreless. Wow, now I'm just making outs on every pitch. I think he's finally hitting spots. He was trying to hit the whole game up until this point. And there's another one. Wow, I can't figure it out all of a sudden. That's another one, two, three inning on, I think, under 10 pitches again. We can't get comfortable. A 4 nothing lead is not safe against a team full of diamonds with the pitching I have, no matter how bad he's looked at the plate. There we go. Up the ladder there, nine strikeouts. Oh, we can't get to double digits against Chipper. He's, oh man, Edmund, buddy. Another strikeout splitter. That's 10 strikeouts in five innings. Tanner Houck, he might need a better card. Taylor Ward, there we go. There's a circle change that's getting down. I'm going for two, this is a mistake. No, he made a bad throw. All right, we got the leadoff double. Guy on second for Jordan. And I popped it up. Oh, that is a pitch asking to be destroyed, and I got just a little bit under it. Oh, my God, that's not even a bad swing. That one should probably be getting hit better than that. Wow, look at him. I thought I had it back on track, and then he just sat the next three down. That was a perfect pitch, too. With all the circle changes I've been seeing, thought I would see another one. Oh, he couldn't get there. He's going to have a leadoff double now. Yep, that's not what we want. Can't let him back into this game. We've kind of done that in every game so far. We take the lead, and then we let him back into it. Okay, that one doesn't need to be getting down, though. Come on, game. He's going to get home on it, too, even though he stopped at third, but we also had a bad animation. He's really feeling himself after one run on a bloop single. There's our double play. There we go. That's more like it. If he's going to hit that spot now with the circle change, good night. Come on, get down. It's not going to get down. Dude, I we can't find the middle ground with the circle change. I was late that time. Stop hitting these spots. He's stealing strike one on these high circle changes now. There we go, Edmund. Nope, still can't get a hit against a righty. And Zanino, I turn on it that time. We had all different types of swings. I think I had a late swing, an early swing, and a good swing. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. It is amazing that one pitch, the Lucas Giolito circle change, is keeping him in this game. I wonder if he thinks that bun dance helps him. Because I feel like all it does is put you at a disadvantage. There we go again, climbing the ladder for 12 strikeouts. See, look at him. He's bunt dancing and then late on the inside heat. Like, you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage. Oh, come on. He doesn't need to be making contact on that. That should be 13 strikeouts. Oh, I can't. Wow, dude. That's all I can say is wow. 89 Lucas Giolito with a circle change. That's, that's just another. See, it doesn't matter. I can swing and miss. I can make a bad swing with bad contact or I can make a good swing and hit lineouts, but they're all the same result. It doesn't matter the quality of swing, it's it's completely luck right now if it's gonna get down. Taylor Ward, is that gonna carry? It's not gonna carry, it dies at the wall. That's add another hit type to the list that it doesn't matter against that circle change. Well all we gotta do is try and get through two more. I'm gonna leave Hauken for an eighth there we go, another one in the dirt, on the splitter. I think that's the first time I've struck out Jones, finally. And that's another one to that same spot. Ward's gonna get there. I really hope I can finally put some more runs across because I kinda wanna leave Hauk in for the extra complete game stubs. He is going to the pen, though, in the eighth. That actually might be a good chance for us to put up more runs. Jordan, there we go. All we needed was to see a different pitcher. Doesn't matter, righty, lefty, he'll take him deep. His second home run of the episode. Oh, I didn't even make contact? I thought I fouled that off. Okay. 
Seeger with the perfect swing lefty lefty. We're better off lefty lefty. That's got to get through. It will. Key Brian Hayes, another hit. Please leave in the lefty. Tommy Edmond is batting 1,000 against lefties and zero against righties. It looks like he's leaving him in. All right, Edmond. Oh, I was too eager. Just wanted to swing. Just wanted to hit. That's actually a pretty decent swing. It just didn't get any carry. Oh, no. He got me. He got me to hit it on the ground. I was waiting for Zanino to do something big there against the lefty. He had 121 power versus lefties today. Well, we did get that extra run to make it not a save situation. So I'm going to stick with Hauk and see if we can close this one out with him. And that's a quick, nice first start. There we go. Another one in the dirt. That time the slider. What is that? 14? 14 strikeouts. Yeah, one more. Why not make it a strikeout? Or a weak pop fly to center on the first pitch. Same thing. Same result. And that's another nice win. I don't like our trend, though, of scoring early and then just, like, stopping scoring. We did it again today. Put up four in the first two innings and then only one in the rest of the game and got absolutely shut down by that Giolito circle change from the third inning on. So that win added another 74 rating, getting us up to 234. So, I mean... Oh... Well, just in time. Actually, server exceptions usually means it's on their end. So I think I'm in the clear and we just luckily finished that game right on time. All right, we are back in finally. The servers were definitely down for everybody there. So that time it wasn't just me. And just checking on everything. Okay, the win counted that time. The rating counted. Still didn't retroactively count that other game though. The only weird thing that happened is Tanner Hauk got up to parallel one, but it's acting like he's not at parallel one but i'm obviously still counting it for the multiplier is him being at parallel one so let's go ahead let's add up all these stubs see what we got all right so this one turned out to be a big one because remember we're combining that first i can't even call it a game because it really wasn't but we're combining that first attempt at a game into this game and there are a couple of confusing points so i'll bring it up when we get there but i don't know hopefully you guys don't disagree with what i've decided but anyway starting with runs we had eight because we're taking the five from this combining it with the three from the other one so eight runs gives us four thousand stubs and then again combining the two 24 total bases gives us 4,800. We drew two walks both in this game, so that's another 400. We had two home run bonuses, so that's 400 stubs. We stole the one base, so that adds on an extra 200. And then this is the first one that I kind of use my own discretion on, but I think I did it in the past. I think I did it last year. But I gave myself two five hit bonuses because we had nine hits in this game, but then go back to this one. We actually actually had four because we had that Reese Hoskins one but it doesn't show up on the box score so if we're combining games that triggers the every five hit bonus twice for a thousand stubs this one might be a little bit more controversial I guess but I'm going on the side of whatever gives us more stubs because I feel like that's just generally more exciting to get more packs and try and get this team better quicker but since I specifically said that we're not going to be treating this like we're playing a second game we're just going to add in those four at bats and come make it all like one game so in that spirit if we're thinking about it all in terms of being one game then Jordan had a multi home run game so I'm counting it as a multi home run game for Jordan to add on an extra 2,000 stubs and then I struck out three times so that takes away 300 moving over to the pitching we only accumulated any pitching stats in this game we pitched all nine innings to give us 5,000 400 stubs the three hits allowed takes away 600 the one run allowed takes away 500 and then the 14 strikeouts that gives us 2800 stubs and then me being stubborn and leaving Hauken to get the complete game is going to give us an extra 1500 for a complete game and then all we got left is the win for 1500 and then your 42 likes on last episode
episode for 4,200 stubs. Oh, and then I almost forgot we have our rating. So our rating after today, after this episode, is up to 234. So that's good for 234 stubs. So that gets our pre-multiplier total up to 27,034. But then we do have the multiplier, which the way that I'm counting it, we're counting it as now a three-game winning streak. And three parallel ones on the squad that combines together to give us a multiplier today of times 1.03 so that is going to add on an extra 811 stubs onto our total bringing our final stub total for today's game to a whopping 27,845 stubs and this is what i went with with all those stubs we got another 10 pack bundle five more packs on top of it and then our first diamond duo pack so all this cost 28,500 stubs. So we were just past the halfway point to round up. So we have to take 655 stubs out of the bank to get that extra pack. So hopefully that extra pack is worth taking those stubs out of the bank for rounding. But we had to. I didn't have a choice. But come on, man. 15 show packs, a silver pack, and a diamond duo pack. You gotta imagine we're gonna get something, right? Luck's gotta be on our side today. That's a that's a great way to start. 60 six overalls all right second pack can this one be better we already got a gold equipment and then a bronze brian de la cruz oh and this isn't even equipment that looks like it's going for a lot the third pack we get a silver garrett cooper i don't know if we'll have a spot for him. he might be a better righty off the bench than ryan mountcastle but if not then we might be selling silvers now the fourth pack what do we got come on i want to see a chase pack flying out of one of these man we need to get that checked off the list here on the pack attack account come on man these no come on better packs let's go come on i'm saying come on way too often what is this now the sixth pack we got more bronzes all right kendall graveman uh, i don't know at a 68 i don't know if he's good enough he has a really good pitch mix though it's tough not to add him there we go a gold all right that's something decent this could be our third gold getting added to the team and it's a catcher sean murphy and hey you know this might be a really good sign here pulling tory hunter jr out of one of the show packs when tory hunter senior is in play eight more packs before we get there though oh we got a diamond unlockable that's at least a thousand towards the stub bank eli morgan could make the team too seven to go we've got a couple of decent pulls in a row here so yeah bring us back down to earth six more another gold unlockable but not anything great from the pack but it's at least 500 i think five more to go another gold unlockable a silver lance lynn i think we've got a spot for him i think he'll fill out our rotation with silvers then four more come on at least another gold i gotta get another gold out of these packs i don't i yeah i don't think espinal is good enough to make the team it, i think we're definitely at the point unless there's some crazy bronze bat that we pull it probably at least needs to be a silver for it to be an upgrade and even at that point maybe not who knows second to last pack here it's another silver it's suarez it's definitely a decision to think about all right and then the last show pack do we have anything nope just one more bronze kirby yates i don't know silver player pack i wonder how many of these it's gonna take before we get our first non-silver there's another silver it's tyler malley well now we gotta decide between him or bailey ober which 75 overall silver starter we want in our rotation all right this is the big one though diamond duo pack tory hunter brian wilson the featured items tory hunter let's manifest it cross all your fingers cross all your toes it helps trust me it helps what do we got first diamond duo pack is it lucky it's it's a gold not as bad as it could have been but that's not a diamond pull and it's gonna be brandon woodruff so another starting pitcher that makes us not have to decide now between Ober and Mally because it's going to be Woodruff. And there we go. That is it for episode three of Pack Attack, our best episode yet. We had Jordan debut and hit a couple of home runs just like we all expected him to. And we're still undefeated. So guys, once again, make sure you've hit that like button on this video to add 100 stubs towards the next one. It helps a lot for these packs. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We have so much more pack attack coming out. I try to have it come out every other day. But guys, thanks for watching today. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time.